Once upon a time in a faraway land, there was a king who had a great passion for hunting. Keep up with me! Faster, man, faster! Don't let him get away from us! He's heading straight for the forest, let's go! Please, wait, Your Highness, wait! Your Highness, the forest is dangerous, please. come back! But the king rode so fast, no one could keep up with him, and he found himself all alone deep in the forest. I'm a prisoner of the forest. I can't see the sky. I'm really lost. I've got to find my way home. Is somebody out there? Oh, all your troubles will be over. Ha <laughs> ha! There's no need to be afraid. Tell me, please, kind lady, do you know a way out of this forest? Why, of course, Your Highness. I have lived here in this forest for all of my life. Very good. If you show me the way out of here, I'll give to you anything that you might ask of me. <laughs> well, there is one little thing that I have in mind that you can do to make an old lady happy. Tell me what I can do to make you happy. Well, I know you're lonely since your queen died, and my daughter's as fair as any in the land. Make my daughter your bride, and I will gladly show you the way out of the forest, Your Majesty. But I have not even met her. Why, she's at her home! Right over there! And lo and behold, there appeared a beautiful sparkling castle in the woods. The king could hardly believe his eyes. Oh! It glistened with stars. Ah. Oh. It is such an honor to meet you, Your Highness. Oh, no. The honor is all mine, fair maiden. Well, what do you think? She'd make a fine wife? Well, your daughter is certainly a most beautiful lady. But there's something strange about her eyes. What? Mm. Yeah, marry my daughter and grant me my wish. And then I will show you the way out of the forest. She will bring great pleasure to you and your family. <laughs> What shall I do? Or would you prefer instead to stay imprisoned in the forest for all of eternity? <laughs> you leave me no choice. I will marry her. Ha! Ah, it's done then. Long live the king and queen! On his wedding day, the king presented the queen to his children. My dear children, greet your new mother. What lovely children. How pleased I am to meet all of you. This is your new mother now. You must make her welcome. What is wrong with you? They must be shy. All going to get along. Would you like to give your mother a kiss? Well, what about you? Um, don't be afraid. Uh, and you? Or you? What? Do you mean me? Well, I'm not kissing her. Oh, she looks mean. She does. You imbeciles! How dare you defy me? Do as your mother says. Oh, I'm afraid. Oh. That's enough. You children may be excused. She'll never be our mother. I don't like her. <laughs> Your children are all so charming. Uh... <sighs> and that night, the king retired to his study with a very heavy heart.
He was deeply disturbed. And while the children slept, the queen wandered throughout the castle, casting her shadow, spreading her evil. <laughs> The king became alarmed and ran to see if his children were safe in their beds. But safety was not to be found that night. Ah, please, my daughter, wake up! What? Children, watch out! All of you stand back here next to me. Take care of you! Oh. Hurry, children, run away! Quick! The guards will destroy it! It's getting away! It's heading for the forest! Are your children all right? Yes. You'll be safe now. But, Father, it was so frightening. That awful monster was just about to eat me. Tell me. How did that giant snake make its way into our bedroom when I had firmly closed the windows? Uh, uh, will it come back, Father? Mm, not if I can help it. <laughs> the children are afraid of a snake. What? I shouldn't have agreed to the marriage. Are you sure you'll be all right, Father? What should we do? I think it would be a very good idea if all of you children went to stay in our castle in the forest for a little while. <laughs> And so the next day, the king and his family rode into the forest. Oh boy, I can't wait to see this forest. Oh, this yarn weaver is going to guide us to the castle. What fun! <laughs> Without this spindle, no one will ever find you, especially the queen. I will be the only one to visit you. Father, promise us you won't ever invite her to the castle, all right? And not for any reason whatever, sir. You have my promise, just as she had my promise to make her my queen when I was trapped in the forest. It was my only way out, and kings cannot break their promises to anyone, even witches. Unbeknownst to them, the queen was brewing up a magic spell. Cadabra, 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 Show me your evil magic ways and lead me to do what I must do. <gasps> And with her magic needle, the queen began to sew seven magic shirts with which to cast her evil. When the king returned to his castle in the village, he hid his spindle in a safe place. Meanwhile, back at the castle in the woods... Father is here! <laughs> what? Did somebody say father's come back? The evil is revealed. Oh, what happened to our father? <laughs> I've made some gifts for you, children. No! Witch Brothers, run! Oh, hurry! <laughs> Here! So the six handsome princes were turned into six lovely swans. And with this, the kingdom belongs to me. Now I'll return back to the king and be the most powerful woman in the land. Ha! But in her haste, the queen forgot to count the swans and overlooked the princess. Huh? Is it you, father? on a dark and stormy night. Oh, my poor brothers, where are you? Ah! Ah! The princes walked 
and walked and walked until she could walk no more. Oh, my. I'm... I'm afraid I'll never see my brothers again. Oh, it's the swans. <sighs> my brothers, is it really you? Yes, it is, dear sister. Oh, but how did you get to be like this? We were changed into swans through an evil spell cast by the Wicked Queen. I'm afraid we'll never be humans again. Oh, no, but there must be something to stop this evil spell that's been put upon you. That evil witch has made it very hard. Nothing is too hard if I can help my brothers. I'll do anything I must do. You just have to tell me anything, whatever it might be. There's only one way, but it will be a great strain on you, sister. It means for six years you will be obliged never to speak to anyone or laugh out loud. And during that time, you must sew six shirts made from chrysanthemum flowers. And if you let one word fall from your lips, all your work will be to no avail. Yes! I will, my dears. I will do all of those things to save the brothers I love. For six years, I will not utter a sound or laugh. And I'll sew six shirts out of flowers for you. And I give you my solemn promise I will break the spell by doing all of this for you. You can depend upon me, my brothers. I'm afraid we must go now, my dear sister. Oh, are you leaving? Goodbye, brothers! See you in six years! You can count on me! I promise I will be waiting! As the seasons changed, the princess kept her promise. Talking to no one, nor laughing out loud, sewing chrysanthemum shirts day in and day out through each passing season. Well, what is it? Up there in the tree, sire, it appears to be a young maiden sitting. So there is. Young lady, what on earth are you doing up there? Don't you know it's dangerous? Come down from here before you hurt yourself. <gasps> She's beautiful. She is very lovely. Uh... Uh... Please help her down and be very careful not to hurt her. She looks fragile. Will you let us assist you? The prince took the silent princess back to his castle and made her his bride. Why do you spend all your time sewing? Now that you're my wife, you don't have to do that for yourself. We have many servants who can do that for you. Now, can't you just stop sewing for one day for me? It must be very important. But why won't you ever talk to me or laugh or even smile at me? You know you can always trust me. Oh, it's all right. Don't worry, dear. I'm just happy to have you as my wife. And within six years, you must sew us six shirts made from chrysanthemum flowers. And if one word falls from your lips, all of your work will have been for nothing. Another season passed, and the princess kept her vow of silence and continued to sew. A prince is born! A prince is born! We have an heir for the kingdom! Oh, joy! Sire, a queen from a nearby kingdom has arrived to present her blessings to the baby. The witch! <gasps> She's the one that turned my brothers into swans! Why is she here? <gasps> We are honored to have you celebrate with us on this most joyous occasion. <gasps> Why, what a pretty princess and such a beautiful child you have. Allow me to bestow upon you my blessings for a long and happy life to you both. May I hold the child? <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you happy to see me? No! 
don't be shy. I know you won't talk or laugh in this kingdom. I know all about it, and I know that it won't do you any good. Now that I found you, there's nothing you can do to save your brothers, so you might as well give it up and talk to me. And I'll tell you something else, dear princess. It's about your father. He's dead. Now forget this stupid silence, because it won't do you any good at all to fight me. Go ahead, why don't you talk? Or shall I cut out your stupid little tongue? Oh. <laughs> you see, when your father had learned of his children's death, his heart collapsed. Why don't you have a good cry about it and break your silence? You'll feel better. Come on now, dear. Surely you can shed some tears of grief for your mother. Father dead? It can't be true. No! <laughs> oh, oh, no! Come back here next to me. I will not let her harm my child. Never! But later that night... Prince, come quick! Something terrible has happened! Oh. How horrible! How could she have eaten her newborn? This princess is a witch. She must be destroyed at once. She's a witch? <gasps> Not the princess! You can't be speaking the truth. I'm a queen, and we queens never lie. Why don't you just ask her yourself? Tell us, princess, why did you kill your baby? Please, dear one, tell me the truth. Where is our child? Our child! Mm. Ah. Oh. Huh? Prince, I know this is difficult, but there is only one way to destroy a witch. You must hurry and make the arrangements, or else this witch will destroy your entire kingdom. You must burn her at the stake right away. Never. But my prince, you can see the blood on her lips, and besides, she doesn't deny it. <sighs> Prepare the fires to burn the witch! <sighs> my dear beloved, please speak to me. Tell me what you've done to our precious son. But the princess remained true to her oath and kept her silence. Burn the witch! Brothers, I'll be true to you, even though it means my death. Today marks the sixth year of the promise that you made to us. You have saved us, my dear sister. It's all over? Mm-hmm. Yes, my sister. And I can speak and no harm will come to any of you? Thanks to you and your devotion. Hmm. <gasps> Listen, the woman before you is really an evil witch. She turned me and my brothers into swans, then killed my father and took over his kingdom. She is the one who's responsible for all this. No, none of this is true. The princess is the witch who destroyed the child. Where is the baby? Oh, oh, oh. oh my baby! The baby that you threw into the forest. We found him and kept him alive. You are the witch and should be destroyed. You dare? You, you're to blame for all of this. Yes, and I almost deceived all of you. <laughs> Jen, don't let her get away. Release your weapons. And once more, peace was restored to the Happy Kingdom. Thank you so much, good sir. 
We must return to our kingdom, but we go joyously knowing our sister is happy. You will always have our royal gratitude and respect, and you in turn will always have our brotherly love. Thank you. This is the happiest day of my life. Goodbye, my brothers. Goodbye, Goodbye my sister. sister. Goodbye, Goodbye, my friend. Goodbye. Goodbye. And they all lived happily ever after.